Hey guys, and welcome back. What we're doing today is spending a nice fall day in the forest here. Um, it's nice and crisp and cool and everything is great. No bugs, no snow quite yet. It's right in that in-between phase and I absolutely love this weather. So I thought what I would do with you today is kind of show you a base camp setup, whether it be a day hike or whether you're doing an overnighter. Um, right when we get to camp, kind of our goals and how we put some things together. I had a couple questions. Um, people had asked how do they organize their way around camp or how do they get a basic fire started. So I want to cover a couple of those things for you today. And we are going to be using the Spiderco Bushcraft to assist us with a lot of the tasks today. I've had it for a few months. I haven't had a chance to fully review it and show it to you guys on camera, so I thought we'd do that today. So we've located base camp. We know right where we're gonna be and right where we're gonna set up. The first thing I did, and let me turn you guys around here. As you might be able to see, there's my pack. I hung my pack from the tree. I'm in various stages of unpacking right now. The other thing that I did was set up our tripod. So there's some lashing right there with our um, number 36 bank line. And we set up the, the good old tripod. So that was right off the bat, guys. All I did was hang my pack, take a few things out of it, and get a tripod set up right away because I know I'm going to use that. Second of all, these two trees right here is where we're going to set our tarp up. And I marked them, you can see on the ground. Over here I have my braided paracord ridge line. And over there I have the tarp on the ground right in between the two trees. Okay guys, one thing, what I'm doing here, one thing I know I'm going to need for these, a lot of these projects is a good baton. Now this one here is just, all it is is a nice thick piece of wood. Going to make a great baton, but what I've started doing is whittling down this end to make a better handle and more comfortable in my hand and be able to use. So I'm just using my Husqvarna hatchet and we're taking this down a little bit. And once again, the purpose of this, guys, is just to make it more comfortable in my hand. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We're not trying to make any type of work of art. We're just doing this solely for comfort. Okay, so that's a bit better, guys. If we need to do more, we'll do more as we go. Okay, guys, another simple thing we're going to need right off the uh, start here is tent pegs. So I just started one here. So there's one. And I grabbed a few sticks. Let's see.
Okay, not pretty, but there's our second one. And we're just gonna keep going right along the way, guys. Okay guys, so so far we've hung up our pack, we have constructed our tripod, we've carved out the bottom part of a baton to make it more comfortable in our hand, and we've made a few tent stakes in preparation for our shelter set up here. So what I'm going to use is number 36 bank line. I usually carry a couple hanks of this with me. For bigger trips I actually carry a whole roll with me. And I'm going to turn you around here, lower you down, and just show you the quick setup. So we want to go about, I'd say, a little higher than waist size. So on one end, I'm just going to tie a slip knot. Okay, got a slip knot. I'm going to come around the tree and just put the rest of the bank line through it so the slip knot tightens up on itself. Can you see that okay? So I have a slip knot right there. And then we just brought the, pair, the uh, bank line through it. So now it tightens up on itself. Let's move you to the other side here. Okay guys, on the one side we have our slip knot and it's looped around the tree down there onto itself. On this side, I'm just simply gonna come around the tree and measure it. So I'm going to grab right about here, and then I'm going to make a knot, or a loop. So I just make that loop right there, and then I come through, and just make a loop right there, okay? So the loop is right here, then I come around the tree, make sure you can see that, okay? And then this end that I came around the tree with, I'm going to go through this loop. So we're doing a trucker's hitch here. So I'm going through the loop, and here's what you're left with. All I need to do now is just pull it tight, as tight as we want it, okay? So I'm pulling on that loop with the string that went around the tree. So I'm going to make sure you guys get this okay because I want to show how we fasten it. Okay, so here's what we have. I'm going to loop it up. So I'm going to take the end that's coming through, loop it up. So I come over the other lines. So I have it pulled tight. This end I'm going to come over the two lines. 
and I'm going to grab the other end. Okay, let's see if it can show up better on this side. Okay, so there's our loop we created. I'm gonna go around the tree. I'm gonna take the end that I just went around the tree with and come through this loop. And then pull it to tighten it. Get it as tight as you want. And then I'm gonna take this string that I just pulled through and come over, okay? This string is gonna come over the two that are already there. So here's what your setup looks like. See these two strings? My loop is gonna come over those. And then I'm gonna grab the end that I'm holding and just knot it. And you should be left with this loop right here. And there's our trucker's hitch. So now we have our loop created from our trucker's hitch. What I'm gonna do now is take one corner of my tarp, one grommet corner here, and I'm gonna put the loop through the grommet. Okay, once that loop is through the grommet, I'm just gonna take a simple toggle, just a simple stick off the ground, Put it in there and tighten down. Tighten that down. So one side of our tarp is now set up. Let me bring you down here to the other side. Here's the other grommet, and it already has a piece of paracord on it. I'll usually keep the paracord right on here for different purposes, and just so I have it. But what I do with this side, is I go one, two, three times around. Once I have that three times around, I simply just knot the end. What this is essentially is a taut line hitch. So now I can pull it to the side and it's tight. It can loosen, you push it this way and it loosens, or pull it this way and it tightens it right up. So I have a taut line hitch on this side, we have our other end toggled, and we have the first part of our tarp set up. Okay guys, so now we're on the back of our tarp and all we need to do is fasten it down. We're not really worried about weather. There's no blowing rain, um, blowing snow or anything like that, so we don't need to fasten the ends directly to the ground. And the reason I mention that, is because right here, we're right next to this tree. So I'm just gonna fasten this end right to the tree here. And then we'll go down pretty low. And then I'm just gonna create a taut line hitch kind of like we did on the line over there. And what that's gonna allow us to do is tighten this up. So there's one end. And let's go to our other end here. And we might need a tent stake for this one. Let's see. Grab 
other end. It's nice and tight. Pound in my tent stake here. Okay, so we're all set up. And remember guys, this is really without any weather, so we didn't have to do a whole lot of modification.